This is the networking video part 3 SX configuration. At this point we should have everything connected and our PC properly configured. Now on your prototrack hit the sys key in the middle of the left side and then hit config net. This will bring up the network tools and on the screen here change IP address should already be selected so click select. Now here's another one of those differences between using a router and not using a router. Remember back on the PC if you were not using a router you manually entered this for your IP address. So go ahead and enter that same exact thing onto your prototrack except instead of a 2 for the very last number enter a 1. Now if you're not using a router simply click automatically obtain IP address and then click OK. Now go down and click start go up to control panel and double click system. Here going up to the computer name tab now go down and click change. Now at this point remember when we checked our workgroup name on our PC we happen to have it blurred out right now but whatever it says right here go ahead and write it down and that's what you'll enter right here under workgroup. It's very important that the workgroup names on your prototrack and PC are exactly the same, but that the computer names are different. All right, I'm going to go ahead and click OK. All right, now it says, welcome to the workgroup. Oh, well, thank you. Go ahead and click OK. It's going to tell you you need to restart the computer. So just click OK. Now click OK again. Now here you have to click no. If you click yes, the prototrack will restart without the changes being saved. So here we are, we'll click no and then we'll click out of this screen. On the network tools menu here is where you want to click the save button and this will restart the computer and save the changes. Here we are after the prototrack is rebooted now click the map network drive and hit select. First click in the drive box and then type F colon. Now click browse and hit the little plus sign next to entire network. Now again hit the little plus sign besides Microsoft Windows Network. And again this is actually going to be your work group that you just created so hit the plus sign again. Now this next one will be the actual computer name of your PC so once again hit the plus sign. Now we're going to find our shared folder. Now if you remember we called it share so I'm going to highlight it and click OK. So there it is. Now you want to make sure where it says mapped drive will not be persistent is unchecked and click OK. Now in the network tools menu go up and again click save and yes. Here we are again after the prototrack has rebooted and our network drive is actually completely mapped but we're going to test it. So go into the program in and out menu and click open. Now here go ahead and tab down tab again, tab and choose drive F, say open folder, and then there it is, ballbar.pt4. This file is actually on our computer. Now we can open it and then we can go into program and take a look at what's there and as you'll see here is that program that originally was on our computer is now open on the prototrack. Well that's it. We have networked our prototrack, but if you have any questions, please call our service department at 1-800-367-3165.